higher one, welcome to our video video. This is on the 4 inch Decker figure. This figure was released with the figures that, um, the, the, uh, sorry, the non mega mode, um, the non mega mode males, the gold, red, green, and blue ranges. Overall, this figure really doesn't come with too many accessories, it just comes with this Uramasa board. Yes, it's all bent up, and well, you can find the packaging for it, because it's very poor packaging, it's really stuck in there, so kind of hard to pull it out, it's all thing in the way, kind of uh, all screwed up. And then you have this dagger that the figure comes with, I'm not sure if it's just for the toy, or if it's in the actual TV show. Also comes with a set of standard in instructions that basically comes with most ranger figures. But let me show you what's in there. It's a really big instruction sheet. It basically shows all the figures that came in that toy line and just shows you how you can play with the face. So this is the Decker figure, it shows you everything you can do with that. And then you have Rita and all the other figures that came in that line. Oops. As for the figure itself, it's not very detailed, there's way too much white. I'm not sure if it has the exact details that uh, Decker from the TV show, but this basically what it looks like. When you turn it around, it has a bit of, like, gray on the back. As for articulation, it's quite limited. You can move the hand up and down in the shoulder joint and from the elbow joint. Again, very limited. The glove also can move a slight bit, but it's very... I don't know if it's just this bigger, but it's very tight. And you have the head, which you can actually, I don't think it, actually there you go, sorry, I thought the head didn't move there for a second. Oh, there you go, sorry about that, I think I was off camera there for a moment, so you can move the head, you can move the legs from, from side to side, again, very limited, and then from the knee you can move it up and down, and that's basically it, oh yeah, and then it has to cut all around like that. So, overall, there's not much articulation that goes to the figure, but it's not too bad. If you're into foreign figures and you want to figure out Decker to represent him, it's not a bad figure. I myself am not into foreign figures. I grew up collecting five inches, but this figure really doesn't do much for me. But if you're a hardcore Decker fan, or Juzo, what? It's very easy not in Shin Changer. They there is a figure art figure off and which is very detailed and um, it's for the extreme collector basically if but if you just want a whatever figure of Decker, this figure basically will suit your needs. As for pricing details, I got this uh and it was out in Parsara. So I got it for, I think, $6, but I don't know how much it's going for eBay, but it shouldn't be going, it shouldn't go for too much, but I do know that figure was rare during its run, at least here in Canada. I had to really search for this, but that's the figure, and let me actually show you the figure with its weapon. One moment, yeah. Okay, there we go. Again, the weapons uh, are very cheap quality. It's just some rubber. That's what the figure looks like. And this is the plastic insert that this that comes with it. So this Uramasa sword basically goes. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a hole right there. And 
and it basically stopped between these wedges right here. So if you were to actually take the sword out, it's kind of wedged in. So that's why, like, um, so it takes it, it, it got screwed up, and it's not really that straight. Then you have the card insert. That's what the like an animated, or uh, sorry, that's not animated. That's like a live action picture of Decker. which is nicely done there. So, there you have it. That's the review for the Decker figure. And if you have any questions or concerns, like, please do not hesitate to ask. And, um, that's basically it. And thanks for watching and have a great day.